Hey everyone, I'm back. It's good to be back. And if you've been following me, you know I've been away for medical reasons. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Angela, and I am someone with gray hair, although since I started this channel, it's turned almost totally white. But I'm glad you're here, and I'm going to tell you what's been going on. This will not be a long video. It's just an update so that you know what's going on with me. Thank you so much, all of you who have prayed for me, who have lifted me up, who have sent me emails. It really is true that when you have a channel, you have friends out there that you've never met in person, but that it does feel like community. So again, it, it's good to be back. Now, let me explain to you what happened to me. So I had surgery on November 6th, but a lot happened before the surgery. And I'm going to show you my boo-boo in a minute. That's why I've got it, I've got myself covered up here. Um, so back in December of 22, around Christmas time, I started having these horrific neck aches. I mean, just out of the blue. And I thought, oh, my neck has hurt before. It'll go away. Well, it didn't go away. And on Christmas Day, I was visiting with family about two hours away. I had been there only 20 minutes. And honestly, I couldn't even stand another minute of of the pain and who wants to sit there at Christmas time and, and um, be not be the life of the party so we drove back home and in Dece and in um, and then after the holidays were over we began in earnest trying to find out what was wrong and going to this doctor having that test all the things that you do to to uh, have a correct diagnosis diagnosis. We suspected what we knew, but you still have to go th jump through all the hoops to find out what really can get you out of pain. I had trigger point injections, several of them. I had I had um, physical therapy. I, I took pain medication and nothing would take this pain away. Okay, so what they didn't tell me um, was on the day of my surgery, I would be intubated I don't know if you've ever been intubated, but it's not a fun thing. Uh, I'm a singer. At least I used to do a lot of singing. And what they have to do, they intubate you, obviously because they're going through through your neck. Um, but what they have to do is they have to make this cut here that you see. And, and it's a pretty good size cut. You'll see when I take off my scarf here. Um, and then they put this contraption in. It looks, it's big. It's It looks like this it's a rectangular kind of thing and it spreads the skin right apart so that they can get in there with their instruments and do what they need to do okay so the good news is let me get out of here and go back to me the good news is that the incision hardly hurt at all I thought that that was going to be excruciating I mean I had um, a melanoma taken off on the side of my neck and that was pretty pretty painful for a while this thing you would think you'd be suffering it was nothing nothing and I hardly even needed any pain medication for it okay so supposedly after you have the surgery the pain will go away everything you know obviously you have a recovery period but eventually you'll be able to move your neck back and forth do all the things that you did before the surgery but for me my healing has taken a lot longer than we thought. The recovery period can be very short period of time or in my case it's a longer period of time. So went to the doctor yesterday, doctor said all looks well but you're 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 doing something that's keeping you're not doing something that you should be doing to keep yourself from healing quicker. I couldn't believe what he said. He said exercise. I haven't been wanting to exercise exercise because especially when it was new um, because I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to rip the stitches, I'm going to do something. Uh, no. Um, walking, it was winter time, and any c cool air on this hurt. And also, if you had a scarf on, you couldn't have anything on top of it. It just hurt. Not, not exquisite hurt, but it was just tender. Let's put it that way. All right. So yesterday, the doctor said, if you'll do some upper body exercises, you've got to get the blood flowing in that area you're going to find relief. I couldn't believe it. And my actually, my sister told me that and my husband told me that. I didn't believe them. But now, 
yesterday I exercised for 15 minutes. My husband showed me what to do. Just light weights. I only used one pound. One pound. You know, going up like this. You know, just, just things with the one pound weight. And this morning when I woke up, I haven't taken any, I haven't even taken a Tylenol today. And so uh, three days a week I will be lifting my weights and three days a week I'll, I'll be walking. Just 15 to 20 minutes, nothing big, uh, until I get to where I'm feeling maybe like my old self. And maybe I'll lose some weight. That's the silver lining, right? That's the silver lining. So um, here it is. Here's what it looks like. I'll do a close-up when I edit this so you can see. It's not terrible awful. But, you know, as we get older, our neck and all this stuff that's going on, this doesn't help it. But that's just vanity. I'm, I'm thankful to the Lord that I had a wonderful doctor, that I have a wonderful husband who helped me during recovery. I couldn't cook, I couldn't clean, I couldn't, I couldn't pick up anything more than 10 pounds. So you, you, if you've had surgery, you know the drill. And he was just like a servant for, for six weeks of our life together. So now it is January 11th, and um, hopefully I'm on the back end, and in the next video I'll have even more good news. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of cards, a couple of pictures up there for you so you can see. Uh, what what I looked like while I was healing. Don't worry, I won't make them too graphic. The other thing that I want to say to you is I will, of course, still be reviewing. I have a beautiful wig that was sent to me by um, Wig Studio One. She's sitting right here, and her name is Isabel. Isabel is part of a new collection. It's a luxury piece from Beltress. And this color is a new color for... Beltress, and it's the color Oyster. Now, I don't know how she's presenting in your monitor. In my monitor, she's looking like she's got a lot of brown in her. She doesn't. She's white and light gray and maybe another deeper gray. And, oh, the, the, the style. And everything moves right away from, from the face. I will be reviewing her very soon for Wig Studio One, and I have to say, Wig Studio One has just been wonderful to me. They had sent me this wig not knowing that I was having surgery, of course, and I, I wrote to them and said, I'm not going to be able to do any reviewing for, I don't even know when. It's really only been this week that I have felt well enough to sit before a camera. I, I know that might sound crazy, but creating videos takes a lot of effort, a lot of work, and a lot of energy, and I just didn't have it. Wig Studio One was so wonderful to me. Just a wonderful, wonderful group of ladies over there. Um, I do think a couple of people have reviewed Isabel over on Wig Studio One's page. If I find that, I would link it for you below. And then you can see my review of the Oyster um, in February when it lands. So I want to just thank you so much if you're here watching um, for hanging in there with me. All my hair is always is up these days because I don't like anything, you know, kind of sticking around this this boo-boo. Um, but uh, it'll be nice to, to put a wig on and review that for you. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope all is well in your world. If you need any prayer for anything and you don't want to write it down publicly, send me an email. My email address is one with gray hair at gmail.com, and I, I really will pray for you. I know many of you have prayed prayed for me. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's no small thing to go through major surgery. It might not seem like major surgery because it's just your neck, but they went through here all the way back to my spine. But I'm very glad that I had it done, and I'm looking forward to being totally healed and back to myself. And, yes there's always a silver lining. So I'll see you next time. And don't forget to look for the silver lining, everybody. God bless you.